Branding yourself as a mysterious artist today is not the same way you would do it back in the day. You have to think completely differently in your approach and is mysterious branding even worth it? That's what we're going to talk about today. Let's get it. What's up, I'm Brand Man Sean, and my agency has helped over 100 artists grow their fan base and get millions of streams. That's not to sell you anything, but to let you know who you're getting the information from. Let's get into this video. Branding yourself as a mysterious artist today is not the same as it was yesterday. And if you don't understand these few key things that we're gonna go over in this video and try to make yourself a mysterious brand, you will fail. So to start, the first thing you have to understand is the spectrum of mystery, right? You have mystery, you have known, and you have saturated. And there are some segments in between this, right? right you have known, you got a well-known, but then you have saturated, and actually you have something above that, which is oversaturated, right? And everybody is so afraid of oversaturating. Problem is most people worry about that before they even are even known, right? Why are you worried about being oversaturated when you, people don't even know who you are yet? Which brings me to the dangerous part of worrying too much about mystery when you are, in fact, unknown, all right? When you're unknown, that's actually a different path. Very similar effects and impacts it feel but a lot of people don't quite understand the difference, right? Yes, you know, oh, people know me or not, but you don't know where you are on your path because a lot of times people think they're playing with some mystery, but really they're impacting them being known in the first place. And mystery looks like this, right? They have to at least get up to known, right? And then it could come back down to mystery, right? You could go up to saturation and come down to mystery, but you have to at least hit known first. Why is that? If I don't know you, how can I find you mysterious? Mystery is a seduction dance of wanting more and not getting more. I have to want to know your name before I find you mysterious, right? I have to have a curiosity about where you're from, right? What was the idea behind this song? What was the concept behind the music video? I have to be curious about that and not get that information until I find, before, before I can find you mysterious. If I don't watch the music video, then I don't care about the behind the scenes. I don't wanna know more about the artist, right? Mysterious is when people want to know more and they're not getting that, right? And how can they have that without this right here? Knowing, being aware. So first you gotta escape unknown, right? Now, with that being said, there's a massive risk in today's marketplace when it comes to this social media era in trying to remain completely mysterious. Traditional mystery does not work anymore. Why? Because people want to know about you. They want to have a certain amount of information, right? To be connected to you. If they aren't connected to you to a certain extent, then they'll just go to the next option. There's another artist that they love, right? You don't have to be oversaturated, but there's a middle ground between known and mystery on this path on the way back. What is that called? That is called Hopefully you can read this. This is called mystique. That's M-Y-S-T-I-Q-U-E, mystique, right? Now, what's the difference between mystery and mystique? Mystery, if you just follow the path, is deeper, right, than mystique. Mystique is that middle ground and it allows you to exist in today's era of be, where people need more than they used to, but you still can have, uh, and it allows you to exist in today's era where people need a little bit more than they used to have while still having much of the impact of mystery. Because mystery has always been a dangerous game, right? If you look at an artist like Prince back in the day, he had a mystique about him. Right? You could only be mysterious, but for so long for people to wonder, but you have to give and take and give them just enough for them to then feel like they've connected to remind them that you exist, right? Over a long period of time, you can't just stay completely mysterious because people 
you start to fall back into unknown or even worse, right? Because mystery can go this path. You might not even see that arrow, but indifference. People just don't care. They're no longer wondering. There's not enough connection. So mystique has always been a thing, but it's even more apparent now not to even fall deep enough into the mystery side of things so you can maintain the potency in terms of your relationship with your audience. So let me use this as an example. When YouTube came out, the internet started popping. Prince didn't want his music on the internet. He owned his music, right? He's well known for getting that ownership of his music and then wanted control of everything and wanted it to be monetized correctly, right? Well, with it not being on YouTube for a significant period of time, that prevented the newer generation from even being able to know him. That prevented many of the people who already knew and loved him from being able to connect with him the same way especially the, the the younger generations that were in that bridge, they knew of them, but they didn't fully like fan out on them just yet because they weren't those older adults who, eh, I don't need the internet to connect with him. I've, I've made all my significant connections with artists, right? So he was in a dangerous part of time where he had mystery, right? Because now you're wondering, you want to hear more of his music, but you can't connect with it. And life is passing by for these young folks who have all the options in the world, right? Now, so what are some examples modern-wise? Now you have her. Her, she came out mysterious. It's a very expensive strategy, by the way, if you want to come out the gate mysterious, and especially in this day and age. But her was able to do it because she, resources and capital, all of these things. If you pay attention though, right? Over time, she couldn't maintain that mystery because it will become novel. That's another problem with mystery. Mystery has a novelty to it and it wears off, right? It's cool to do it first. Oh man, nobody knows who it is. It creates conversation, that's great. But after a certain period of time, if you don't have any value beyond that, it doesn't matter, right? And the stakes become higher and higher the more your mystery becomes a peak conversation for you to be able to match something that validates that level of conversation and interest. So mystery becomes a high, high risk game to play where people begin to even just turn on you. Have you ever seen when a song takes too long to roll out and people start to turn on the artist and say, yo, fine, we're just gonna move on. Like you're taking, I'm tired of it. You keep giving me this rollout. You keep saying it's gonna come out. You keep pushing the album back or the song back. I'm just gonna move on with life. I've already heard enough. That's it, right? That's the same effect of waiting too long to give more beyond your mystery. So her, she started to connect beyond that by giving a little bit of her face here and there, small moments. It wasn't like, yo, I'm a completely different artist now and now I'm gonna saturate you and go the traditional route, but it was like, okay, I'm gonna remove some of this mystery in a traditional sense and open myself up more to connect. That way, that isn't a novel thing that I, I seem to be relying on now. It's just like Weekend cutting off his hair, right? He cut off his hair, so he wasn't as reliant on it. Right? He stopped being as mysterious and started to show his face, like, unlike what he was doing in the beginning, because he wasn't relying on the novelty of the mystery, because that easily goes away, and there's far more benefits to actually being known and being recognizable than there is to being this complete mysterious character, right? So you want to be in that middle ground. Mystique, mystique, mystique. You look at Playboy Cardi, right? He's known by his fans and his niche, Right, and he doesn't always put himself out there all the time, but he comes out just enough for you to still feel like, okay, I know what he likes, I know his style, right? He's just in certain places, right? You're not gonna see me everywhere, but you're gonna see me some places. You're gonna have enough information about me to feel like you can connect with me, relate with me, feel like you can follow my style and how I move and mimic that yourself so you can buy into this lifestyle. Those things you can't get when someone's completely mysterious. There's a lack of connection that exists there. So mystique works far, far better. Now, whatever a couple strategies that you can utilize to make sure that you're an artist that has mystique. Well, the main concept at the core of mystique marketing is you're not the person who's promoting yourself. Self-promotion, you can see that 
all across the board. So many artists posting their own stuff, right? Heavily uh, talking about what they're doing, a lot of radio interviews or other types of interviews, but the mystique marketing push looks a little different. Instead of you talking and your face being out there as much, it's more so other people talking about you. You have to generate that conversation through others, right? Whether that's a publication, a YouTube page, an Instagram page, you have to have people talking about you versus you talking about yourself. Remember, mystery, what people get wrong, right? About this mysterious thing and mystique is they think, oh, I'm just not going to do as much and that's going to make it happen. No, the reality is the same amount of activity has to happen right? Funny enough, you still have to hit this threshold, known, right? It looks a little different though, right? They have to know that you're dropping a project. They have to know who you are in the first place. They have to know that you're working on a rollout. All of that same amount of activity and energy has to be put out there, but it's just coming from a different source, right? It's not coming from you. So that can be more expensive. That's why I referenced earlier that being a mysterious artist can be more expensive, especially when you're launching, right? From the beginning, Beyonce or somebody who already has a following, right? Can drop something out of nowhere and immediately social media takes off and all this marketing happens for them organically because they built that brand equity where people are waiting on them, people care. But a brand new artist doesn't have that. So you now have to pay people, do all types of favors to appear on these pages since you can't rely on your own when you're doing mysterious brand and continue to make that investment every single time you want to generate some type of awareness, right? I can't just talk about my project 50 times on my own page. I have to pay for 50 posts, right? And only talk about it three times on my page because you still can have some outward promotion, but it looks a little different. It can't look forced, right? You have to make it feel like the world's talking about you and you're just doing your part, dropping some water in a bucket versus creating the bucket or filling the bucket up yourself, right? Slightly different nuance, but again, mystique is what lasts, right? Mystery especially in today's era, that can quickly become indifference, right? It can quickly become, we don't care. So you're not trying to be mysterious. What you're trying to do is have a mystique where people care about you, right? You can think about Frank Ocean. There's so many artists that have a mystique and they, they unknowingly, right? Mischaracterize it as mystery when truly it's people care about this person, that person can be strategic and do whatever they want, but at the same time, fans don't fault them for it. The media still cares whenever they do whatever they want. If I fall back, right, it's cool, but when I come out, there's a meaning assigned to what I'm putting out, right? There's impact associated with what I'm putting out, right? So these are some of the things that you want to think about when it comes to being a mysterious artist, right? Which is number one today. You don't want to be mysterious. You want to have a mystique that gives you the freedom. It allows you to move and do everything that you want to do from brand collaborations. Your face can be out there. You can do a show, but you don't have to do it at nauseum like so many other artists who are everywhere all the time, having to move a shake, having to go to every club or having to do every single radio interview. That is what most artists don't desire, right? Creating that feeling of annoying people and being oversaturated, always having to be in them, their faces, that is what artists are trying to avoid. Mystique doesn't have any of those effects, but they don't have the risk of people not caring at all like mystery. And you can't afford to take that risk today, especially if you don't have a massive budget to force people into caring again. All right. So that's mystery. Those are some of the things you should think about. We have a lot of videos on mystery. You can check them out over here or over there wherever we put the video, right? But we've got an entire playlist on mystery. Check it out and break it down.